today, being that this is our Valentine service and we're having this great Valentine banquet tonight, that you can call me Dr. Love. Gotta do it good for Lee, Dr. Love. <laughs> so, there's a lot of things going on at the church, but we want to mention something to you about next Sunday. Next Sunday is very important because uh, we have two things going on. One, that we're going to have membership Sunday. If you want to be a member, please come and see me. We're trying to take in as many members as we can right now. We open it every other every other month, and so if we was going to do it last month, and a lot of things have happened since then, we're not able to do it. But we're doing it next Sunday. Plus, we're having water baptism service. So if you haven't been baptized, then you need to get with me or with Lee, and and we'll we'll tell you all that you need to know. Next Sunday is very important, so come be part of it. Now, since this is our Valentine's edition, then. I got a little special I want to give out to my old, my little old sweetie right over there. It's this. I've been really trying, baby. Trying now let's get it on back to the school. Let's get it on. What's going on, South Point? I'm Eric. I'm Lee. And welcome to the Valentine's Day edition of the South Point School. That's right. Hey guys, let me tell you guys, we got a lot of things going on. If you're new, pay attention we'll let you know. First off, next week we're going to have here at the church Top Notch meeting 630. Top Notch stands for the old people but they're really not old. They're actually the wisest people in this church. So if you're one of those wise people, come on out and see us. And also, SOS meeting Friday at 630. SOS stands for Sisterhood of Servants. Every woman in this church should be there because it's that important. Our next thing is, my favorite deal of the scoop, it's a commercial. Cody. Roll it. Hi, I'm Dr. Phil Moore, and I'm a marriage expert here, and I've been helping save marriages for many years. But today, I'm bringing in two special friends that share a very unique outlook on marriages. You know what, guys? Why don't you just come on up right now and tell them all about it. Thanks for having us here today, Dr. Groper. Uh, it's do Dr. Phil Moore, sir. I'm sorry, that, that's our bad. That's our full pull. I'm B Money, and I have no sense. Hey, and we're here today to help you out with some killer marriage tips. That's right, you heard him. We have six killer marriage tips. Hey guys, before we get started, can we start with some killer music and some dance moves, you know, to get no, this thing no, started? No, no, no. This is a very serious event. We're helping save marriages, so let's just dive on in there, get down to the grindstone, and work out some problems. Now just, we'll do it real fast. No. Guys, this is a very serious moment here. This is people's marriages we're talking about. Whenever you get a chance, try and finish your wife's sentences for her. This lets your wife know that you know where she's going with a particular thought or subject. Yeah, like I love you, or I need you, uh, or you're predictable, but in a good way. Number two, keep a record of past wrongs. That way, you have plenty of ammo for your next argument. Hey, let's do a little bit of role playing. All right, we're going to show you how it works. Honey, why don't you raise the toilet seat up before you use the bathroom? Why don't you fill the car up with gas after you get home? That was four years ago. See? Number three. Use catchphrases to reinforce your point. Hey, how about we do a little bit more role playing? All right. I'll start off. Okay. Here's an old classic. Sweetie, if it's a chore, it's yours. Or you can revamp it. If you got time to lean, you got time to clean. You got any? Yeah, what, what about, uh... All you do is sit in front of the TV and eat Cheetos and want me to rub your nasty feet. That, that's not a catchphrase. That's sh sure it is. No, it's not. Yeah, it no, is. No, you're ruining the video. Huh? Catchphrase. Come on. Number four. Use lots of comparisons. This helps your wife to set goals to reach for herself. Like compared to your 
Mom, compared to your ex-girlfriends, to the Pilates teacher at the gym, you know, all of these things just help her to improve. Number five. During an argument, use the time while your wife is speaking to develop your comeback. So it works like this. You speak, then while she's speaking, you think. And then you speak again. And that is how the killer comebacks happen. Number six. You know, putting your kids in time out can be very effective for some parents, but putting your spouse in time out can also be very effective. Like putting her in time out can make her see a different point of view, preferably yours. And if you get any pushback, I'd let her know that you're having a hard time telling her apart from the children. <laughs> that's, that's, uh, that's, that's classic. That's a good one. <laughs> guys, guys, seriously, these are terrible <laughs> tips. I think they could probably kill a marriage. She didn't like them either. Awkward. Yeah. But, uh... Keep the video rolling and stuff. Hey, can we end this in front of the sign with six marriage no, tips? And I, I was a little uncomfortable. No, no, no just we can end it with the robot. No, it was the robot. Of, it, it was really kind of weird. Hey, them tips right there will kill your marriage. So don't try them. <laughs> so right on. Well, we got something going on, and it's called. The Big Scoop! Valentine's Day Banquet, tonight. baby! Tonight, I will be there. I don't, Excited! What you need to do is you need to get with Karen. She has the tickets. She's going to be holding them. If we need to set up a wrestling ring or something like that, we will. But anyhow, that wraps up another edition of the South Point Scoop. My name is Lee. And I'm Eric. Hey. Join us next time when we celebrate. Connect. <laughs>